Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here, Moss Pawn and Gun. We got another body armor test we're gonna be doing for you today. Uh, we've broke out the heavy hitter here. We got a 458 SOCOM AR-15. As many of you guys know, it's kind of like having a semi-automatic 4570 in your hand. All right, it kind of takes that 4570 uh, theory and drives it up into the uh, stratosphere uh, with having it in a semi-auto platform. Okay, it uses 458 diameter projectiles. You can get them spanking out of there at relatively quick velocities. The ammunition we're going to be using today is from Underwood Ammo, and uh, we're using their 300 grain Lehigh Extreme Penetrating Round. Uh, it's moving about 1,800 feet per second, so it's getting down pretty good there. All right. The armor we're shooting is pretty much the same armor you've seen before. It's a standard AR-500 armor, uh, steel plate. As many of you guys know, this is set up to be body armor. You wear it inside your carrier. You're good to go. All right. We're going to get Chad behind the trigger because I get to have all the fun. I got to let uh, Chad have a little bit of fun here. So we're going to break away here, let him have a shot, and we're going to pelt this armor and see what happens. Just a quick video here. This is looking good. All right, guys, well, we're going to fire one shot at this body armor just to see what the result is. We know these extreme penetrators are not going to go through this AR-500 armor. I think everybody knows that. But you have seen these rounds in action in other videos that we've done, and they do penetrate a lot of stuff. So we're going to shoot one round check it out and see what the damage was, and then we're gonna to proceed to pelt the crap out of this thing. So we've got a, a little Mixmaster AR here, little Tromix Upper, Troy Rail, Sharks Bolt Carrier Group, and we're running a Geisley SSA trigger, super semi-automatic, very, very high quality, two-stage trigger, excellent trigger. And uh, we're running a Vortex Razor one to six on here, and we've actually got one of our fugly brakes on here that Ray produces. So these are custom three-chamber brakes, really, really effective with this 458 SOCOM. Check this out. All right, in three, two, one. All right, that was a good center shot. Let's go and check it out. Well, Chad, that was pretty neat. What happened there? That's pretty crazy. Um, the round actually just hit just low of center here, and uh, the anti-spalling coating captured the entire projectile. Now, that's a solid brass projectile. So upon impact, it's just meant to break apart pretty much if it hits like a you know, hard target like this. Soft targets, it's going to keep punching on through but we've got a little bit of a bulge on the rear of the plate. Now this is about a quarter inch thick AR-500 plate with anti-spalling coating on both sides and uh, pretty impressive, you know, just the amount of energy that that uh, round hit that plate with. But we're gonna move on to actually pelt the crap out of this thing yeah. and really see what it'll do. I'm gonna try to hit the same place and just keep punching it, see if we can get the anti-spalling coating to break apart and whatnot, see what kind of damage we can actually do. I tell you, that 458 SOCOM's a monster, and I've, I've always liked the caliber. I, I like big bore AR calibers. You know, when you start getting into the, into the 50s and the 458s, there's a ton of potential there, not only for personal defense and things like that, military use. I mean, there, there are a lot of big bore ARs that get used by the military for stopping vehicles and punching through barriers. Of oh, course, yeah. we're gonna get into more of that uh, as we go on. Uh, but it's interesting to see what this thing will do. So why don't you shoot that thing in the same exact spot over and over again, and let's just see what happens. Well, I got a full mag here, so let's get to it. Do it. All right, guys, I've got the magazine topped off here with the Underwood 300 grain extreme penetrators. We're gonna proceed just to pelt the crap out of this AR-500 armor plate. Let's do it. Well, our baffle stack didn't hold up, but we've got a few rounds on target. Let's go down and see what the damage is. All right, let's see what happened here, Chad. All right, well, I didn't quite get the full magazine out before the plate jettisoned out the rear of our little baffle here, but, you know, it took quite a few hits. Peeled the anti-spalling coating off, but, you know, we can look inside and see that there's not any damage to the AR-500 plate other than bulging the plate out on the rear a little bit, which certainly would not feel good. You know, these plates are meant to dissipate the energy over a wide surface area, but we're talking almost 2,300 foot-pounds of energy that's being dispersed by that 300 grain projectile. And these plates are level three. They're rated for M80 ball, which is basically uh, 762 by 51 NATO yeah. at about 2,400 uh, foot-pounds of energy. So that's a substantial amount of force hitting that plate. Well, a good way to think about it too, guys, is you got a 458 SOCOM, which is essentially a 4570. More or less. Pretty okay. much in it's, a semi-auto platform. It's, it's a semi-auto 4570. So, you know, it's like we say in a lot of the other videos, you can't argue with slinging bowling balls at stuff. <laughs> I mean, the bigger, the bigger it is and the faster it's moving, the more damage you're gonna get. And like Chad said, if you got that pinpoint damage, sure, it's gonna pass clean through you, it's gonna kill you, whatever, okay? But if you got something that's stopping the damage before it enters your body, 
that energy is dispersed over a wide range of the surface area of that plate. Now granted, there's still gonna be some energy transfer that goes through and it'll knock the breath out of you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not gonna be pleasant, but you'll be alive. You'll save your life. And two, the anti-spalling coating, you know, peeling up like that, this is just an open plate, okay? You gotta consider that this is gonna be in a heavy nylon carrier, you know, probably with a lot of other accessories, magazine pouches, things like that on there to catch a lot of the spalling that actually escaped you know, the plate here. And we've done tests like that where a lot of the spalling is captured within the carrier yeah. and it doesn't come out and, you know, hurt you in the neck or hit your legs or anything crazy like that. So. Well, the funny thing too is this baffle system that we built here to kind of hold it, you don't get any spalling anywhere other than maybe a little bit on the bottom where it was trying to rip out the bottom. Yeah. But as long as that spalling's away from your face, who cares? I mean, a little bit going low is not a big deal. Uh, but guys, we just wanted to show this heavy hitter. You know, the 458 SOCOM is an awesome, awesome setup. Uh, it's a lot of power in a semi-auto uh, platform in the AR. We will probably try this test again with 50 Beowulf. Mm -hmm. All right, you can get a 50 Beowulf and that's a completely different animal, but we'll discuss that in a future video. Is there something that you want us to shoot body armor plate with? You let me know and we'll try our best to make it happen. Uh, we really appreciate the support. Appreciate you watching today's video. We'll catch you next time. Take it easy.